everyone, it's me, Picture at Paradise, and today's video is different types of rat cages. So I'm going to go through a range of cages which are suitable for rats. Just a quick mention, I do have two videos on rat cages, one on good rat cages and the other on bad rat cages. So if you are interested in the good suitable cages for rats, I suggest watching this video. Or, if you're wanting to know about the cages to avoid, so the bad cages, then I suggest checking out this video. So I'm going to talk about what makes each cage type suitable and if they need any modifying. But just before I get started, I'm just going to go through a few things first. Remember that any cage you pick must give a total of 2 cubic feet per rat. That is a big cage rule you should keep in mind. I also want to mention that I think you should always aim for something bigger than what is sold for the animal because usually a cage that is sold for that type of animal is generally too small. So it works better by picking a cage sold for a bigger animal. You're also limited to a certain size when picking a cage labelled for that animal and most aren't even that great a size. Whereas looking at other cages sold for other animals, you're more likely to find a bigger cage because you have more of a choice in size. And just because you're picking accommodation for rats, doesn't mean you have to pick a rat cage. Go outside the box. You don't have to stick with what's there. You can look at other cages which aren't labelled for rats but could be a perfect fit. And the last thing I want to mention is that most cages you buy for rats will come at a price, some more expensive than others, but the cage is probably the most expensive supply you will buy out of everything and it is important you get the right cage for them as they are going to be living in it after all. So let's start with the most common type. Rat cages. So these cages are usually very good for rats. You can get great sized cages, ground space seems great, the height is usually quite good, and they almost always come with levels inside, which you would expect. Bar space tends to be pretty good, so you wouldn't have to cover the bars. However, like all animals, there are always those small cages which you should avoid. For types, you can get the standard level types, and then you can get the double tiered cages, but these tend to be quite expensive, and I understand not everyone has enough money to buy a cage like this, but if you do, they are definitely worth the price, and your rats will be very happy in the long run. So the next type are chinchilla cages. Again, these come in great sizes, offer a fair amount of space, give appropriate height, bar spacing seems to be suitable, so no need to mesh up the bars. They also tend to have levels inside, which is brilliant for rats. This is often why some cages are labelled for both rats and chinchillas, because they have quite similar housing. So chinchilla cages are a brilliant option of cage for rats. Another type are ferret cages. The great thing about these is a lot tend to be quite large in size, so they offer lots of ground space and also quite good height space. They often come with levels because ferrets, like rats, love to explore in different levels too. However, the one thing you'll need to modify on this cage is the bar spacing, as it tends to be over half an inch, so you want to mesh the bars with some half inch spaced wire mesh, which you should find in your local hardware store. But once you have done that, it will make a wonderful cage for your rats. Another great type are bird cages. And I'm not talking about cages which are like the tiny little boxes, I'm talking about ones that are generally very tall, quite long and wide that can house quite a few birds inside. These kind of cages are going to be great for your rats. You know, plenty of ground space for them to run, lots of height space for them to climb, you can fit lots of levels and toys inside. You can just go all adventurous with toys inside a cage like that. The only thing I have to say about this type is they usually need modifying as bar spacing is often too big. So if your cage is over half an inch spacing, then you will need to cover them with half inch wire mesh because rats, they can squeeze through any space bigger than that and you don't want to risk it. I always say, better safe than sorry. And also, flooring does tend to be barred or wired so you will need to cover that up with some plastic flooring. Something like chloroplast flooring or even some lino are both great and then put a good layer of bedding on top just to ensure their feet are protected because you don't want your rats walking on bars. It's not going to be good for their feet. It can cause sores, otherwise known as bumblefoot. So make sure you have wire flooring covered. But they're the only adjustments you need to make. And once you have them done, it's going to make a fabulous cage. So next are DIY cages, and there are quite a few to go through. So first up are CNC cages. 
What I love about these is that you are in control of how big the cage is going to be, so you can build them however big and tall you want. But you will need to make some levels for the cage or buy some levels. You can get some plastic levels sold for rat cages online. I believe eBay and Amazon sell them, so you should find some on there. This cage will need modifying though, as you will need to definitely cover up those huge holes, because no doubt your rats will go through them. So make sure you cover up the CNC grids with wire mesh, and once you've done that, it's gonna look great. The next DIY cage is bookshelf cages. These I have found are becoming more common, and I have mixed views about these. I think they can be very good providing you give them an appropriate sized bookshelf with some modifying, but I personally don't find them as the best type of rat cage, nor the easiest cage, as there are some certain holdbacks. So the problem with bookshelves is a lot of them tend to be not very wide and tend to have short depth so they don't provide enough ground space nor enough roof space to hang things and they're more tall than wide so it can be quite hard to find an appropriate sized bookshelf for rats. So in picking a bookshelf, basically do the opposite so you want to make sure it's really wide and has really good depth. Another holdback is the top. Obviously a bookshelf is not barred and that means you can't hang anything from them. That being said, this can be resolved if you cut out the top and replace with wire mesh or even a side of a barred cage on top and that way you are still able to hang things like hammocks and toys. But it depends if you want to go that far with modifying. Most probably won't want to go through that effort so it's really up to you. But if you are able to do that and ensuring the bookshelf is an appropriate size for rats then you should have a very good cage for them. And a lot of rat owners like bookshelf cages and find them to be quite a creative type. Another type are large wooden cages. Just consider beforehand that this cage is made of wood, so if you do have heavy chewers, perhaps best not house them in a cage like this. Now if you want a cage like this, you will have to build it yourself, but I think it'd be fairly cheap to build, and the great thing is you have the option to make it as wide and as tall as you want. So for equipment, you will need wood, mesh, some tools like nails and a drill to put this together and building a cage like this could be quite a challenge so it may not be easy to put together. Also if you are young you will need your parents assistance with this. But once done you will have a well built sturdy cage with lots of ground space, height space and levels so the result would be awesome. Another type is guinea pig and rabbit cages. Now hold on you must be thinking but Wait, didn't she mention this cage was bad in her bad rat cages video? Well yes, I did, and that was because these cages are too low in height. Until after, I discovered a brilliant idea which you can do to make this cage suitable. I received an interesting comment from a rat owner saying that they house their rats in a guinea pig cage. Only, they came up with this brilliant idea, they got two cages and put them together to double the height. And I thought this was a brilliant idea, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, so for anyone wondering if you can house rats in a guinea pig and rabbit cage, you can, providing you have two large sized cages and put them on top of each other. So to do this, you will need to cut out the roof of the bottom cage, and then place the other cage on top, tie them together with some cable ties, and then you'll end up with a much improved height. Also make sure you cover the bars with wire mesh as the bar spacing will most likely be too big but once you've done all the above you will end up with a perfect cage. And the last type is dog crates. I only recently thought of this idea and I'm so glad I did. Now these are great if you're on a budget because you can get dog crates pretty cheap from most places. I've seen some online like eBay and Amazon for pretty good prices. Now when picking one I suggest going for the size large or bigger the ones that are sold for the larger breeds of dogs because that way you're going to get a nice large cage which is going to be great for your rats. Usually the flooring will be plastic or metal anyway because obviously dogs aren't going to be just on the bars. You know usually they'll have some solid flooring that comes with a dog crate so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Now the bar spacing will be very big so it will be meshing all over but once you've done that it will be nice and escape proof. And I also suggest buying some levels to put inside the cage, as it is a dog crate, so obviously it's not going to come with levels. It's not like dogs can climb and go on different levels like rats. Anyway, once you've done that, you should end up with a huge cage, loads of ground space, brilliant height, and overall it will make a brilliant cage for your rats. So that's the video on different types of rat cages. 
Hope you found this helpful and maybe it gave you some new ideas of cages you never thought you could house rats in. Just to let you know, most of the cages I have featured you will find in my Good Rat Cages video, so if you are interested in a certain cage, you should find it in that video. And I will leave both good and bad rat cages in the description. So I've included as many types of cage I can think of, but of course if you have any other types you want to share with us, or any creative ideas, then feel free to pop them below. So any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you like our videos and want to see more, then go subscribe, and click that little peach below and it will take you straight to my channel. And if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, then don't forget to hit that like button, and we'll see you next time. Bye!